real bastard of this story and this book, it has to be Dr. Dre. And it's funny how nowadays, you know, so many women wear Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. Did you know that this Dr. Dre, he was a real women hater? And I mean, he was not only a women hater, he beat up a couple of women in his life, like really bad, like in the hospital condition. Hello everybody, today I have a book review for you, Original Gangsters. And this is a book about the hip-hop culture of the 80s. And here are a couple of names, Tupac Shakur, Dr. Dre, Eazy-E and Ice Cube. And this is a very well-written book about the history of rap. This book mainly revolves around the relationship between Eazy-E and Dr. Dre. And Dr. Dre, if you don't know this, was a really hard personality. And he was the producer of Easy E. And he was also the producer of Eminem at some point. Rappers don't make their music usually themselves. They have something called the producer. And that's what Dr. Dre did. And he was a complete ass. He had a way of handling these artists. What did they do before they got in the rap game? Well, Easy e was a dealer of drugs and he dealt all kinds of drugs, but especially crack cocaine, the hardest stuff that was around back then. Nowadays it's different. There's this one hilarious scene in this book where an artist goes into the record label and smashes with a baseball bat the whole fucking office to get his royalties for his music. Like these scenes were so well described in this book. The way he used those words in that situation, it was so hilarious. Let's make people pissed off at us. The real bastard of this story and this book, it has to be Dr. Dre. And it's funny how nowadays, you know, so many women wear Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. Dr. Dre, he was a real women hater. He beat up a couple of women in his life, like really bad, like in the hospital condition. And I bet that Dr. Dre had some kind of control over these artists. He kept their drug use at a level that they were able to do the work, to rap and to write lyrics. And at the same time, he was very direct in his way of guiding the artistic flow. And Eminem said that he, Dr. Dre. And Eminem said in this book that Dr. Dre helped him to find new ways to use his voice. This is also an incredible insight into the gang and rap culture affiliation how rap music and gang behavior are related to each other and because this story happens in LA, Los Angeles there's the Bloods and the Cribs at least back then was and there was a kind of a conspiracy going on at Dead Row Records where the bodyguards, some of them were police officers and yet still these gangs, was it Bloods or the Crips, I don't remember, they used this headquarters of Dead Row Records as a kind of place to go hang out. Did they do some drug dealing there? Nobody knows. But yet the artists were kind of the middle players between the lawbreakers and the law enforcement side. So, there's the book for you. Highly recommend it if you want to learn about the history of rap music.